what is going on guys today we are back with another video it is a very exciting day we are back in northern wisconsin up here today we're doing some walleye fishing kind of that you know afternoon bite hopefully into dark you know we don't really anticipate a whole ton of action kind of before dark you know most of the time especially a lot of these gin clear um, you know, relatively deep, high pressure lakes. We don't see a whole lot of activity generally before that peak time frame, but we're gonna give it a go anyways. We have special guest today. It is myself and we have a legendary angler. Should we go say hi to him? I suppose we can say hi. He's all comfy in the otter. What's going on guys? We are just jigging some, some deep water walleyes out here uh, just before the new year. And Dave, this is David. I don't know if have you ever been on a YouTube video. Uh, a Lake Superior. I guess he's been on. It's about my only claim to fame, and that was like two years ago. So guy taught me everything I know about walleye fishing. So <laughs> he had to buy a fishing license on the way to the lake this morning, but that's all right. <laughs> so here we are and uh, set up for the afternoon walleye bite. David's gonna be sitting in the shack. I'm gonna kind of bomb around. Hopefully gonna do mostly jig fishing and then right at dark, hopefully get on some fish, drop some tip ups and kind of capitalize on that window. So stay tuned, let's go to going on. Our ex expectations are not sky high for this kind of thing. If we could put together five, six, seven walleyes, pretty solid kind of afternoon out here in Northern Wisconsin. So stay tuned, let's get it going on. Let's uh, hopefully David catches a few fish in the shack and I catch a few fish whole hopping around. Well, well, David is in the shack. I'm gonna do just a little hole hopping around here. And uh, where's a rod I can use? Where's a rod I can use? We got all these rods. There we go. Where's my flasher at? There's the old Markham. And uh, time to get to work. We'll see what we got going on here. Just fishing a bunch of these little sweet spots, rock edge type of situations. And uh, got a pocket full of minnows for the road. And we're gonna get rocking and rolling with just a eighth ounce Acme Castmaster. And just a minnow head on there. Pretty simple program. And this minnow's feeling pretty, uh, soft and gooey from sitting in my pocket for too long but that's uh how she goes i guess eat it it's gonna slow it down got him right there finally bit it all right well i've been marking quite a few fish on this spot so far but have not got I need to eat actually yet, you know, it's just this outside of prime time window bite. Starting to feel halfway legit here. Fishing out on the deeper edge of this thing. Oh, there we go, look at that, number one. There we go, nice walleye right there. We'll change the sun angle so you guys can see a little bit better. There we go, beautiful walleye. To kind of pop things off on the jig rod i like it i like it and uh we're gonna be camped out here for a little while this evening so it's good to be seeing some action right off the bat like i said i know the fish are here but it's just more so a matter of will the fish eat is kind of the bigger question and there we go beautiful walleye out in the sunshine let's let him go because he is cold today see you later buddy well that's what we're after we'll definitely probably see some bigger fish you know, as the, oh, don't want to tip that in the water, as the afternoon turns into evening out here, but I like it, one right off the bat.
Ooh. Right off the bat, you got him. We are hooked up. Fish on, boys. Fish on. What are you thinking, walleye or small off? I don't know. That one shot up. Did it shoot up quick? Yeah, it hit pretty hard. After a pretty slow start to the afternoon. Well, I was just jigging outside, caught one right away. We kind of moved the shack over on top of the zone here. And right away, David hooks up. And uh, we're kind of fishing one of these deep rock fingers. We got, Small. oh my gosh, a big old smallmouth. <laughs> Just a toad. A toad of a smallmouth. It's gonna be tough to get to the hole. Walk him back this way. There we go, and we got <laughs> Look how big that thing is. That's a tanker. Oh man, look at that. Big old gnarly football to get things going in the shack. That was fun. You want to do the Tom Bowley talking points? Um, you know, Tom, I don't want to make you look bad, so I'll let you know. <laughs> there you go. Hold them up. We'll show them off the oh. camera. Now, some lakes you can target these things in pretty good, too, guys. Other lakes, they're very dormant. Look at that. That is a stud of a smallmouth right there. We'll take them. Beauty. You want a picture of them at all? And back he goes. They always sit in the hole like that, and they'll just dart. There you go. All right, well, just moved the shack over here, like we said. Boom, fish on right away. This spot, deep rock, going to be a mixture of these smallmouth and walleyes like this. So <clears throat> hopefully we keep plucking away at them as the afternoon goes goes on here. All right. Get All right. The transducer out of the way. David literally just dropped back down and got another one. Smaller fish, right? Yeah, definitely smaller. Could be a walleye. Could be a walleye. Oh, oh, it is. Nice walleye. Look at that. Get things going. We are on them out here. I just Beauty. caught that first walleye. Do you want to eat one? Uh, is it 15? Yeah, he's 16 and a half probably. Yeah, sure. All right, David's gonna eat that one, but look at that walleye. Number two of the day. I jigged one outside and we just got rock and roll in the shack, and uh, there's another one. Catching these midday walleyes in these gin clear lakes, very difficult, so it's very rewarding when it does happen. And we'll take them like that all afternoon long. Is it a good time? That's a good time. There's the cheesy, the cheesy camera line smile. It's getting a little spicy up there. Getting a little spicy. Eat it. Got him. Right there. Oh my gosh, you guys, was that a big mark? This is feeling like a straight up stud oh my gosh I teased that fish and teased that fish and he finally came up I marked a few here oh oh my gosh dude you don't get a whole lot of bites that feel like this oh my goodness dude I'm freaking out I can't believe I got that transducer out of there that clean I gotta make sure the GoPro's going are we rolling Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this walleye, you guys. That thing is a absolute freak, dude. That thing is enormous. Look how big that fish is. That thing is all of 27 inches long, probably. For sure 26, probably 27-ish. That is the biggest one, hands down. I cannot believe this. That I've jigged in Wisconsin all year. Look at this fish. That is incredible, dude. I wish I had somebody else here, but I'm just hole hopping out and around. That is enormous, dude. That is enormous. I'm gonna try to snap a quick selfie because it's so cold out here. Here we go. All right, took a quick selfie. Watch this fish go back. Look at this guy. Just an absolute stud, dude. That's an eight inch hole and he is filling it. Oh, kick off, girl. Oh, <laughs> I cannot believe that. I wish I had more cameras over here, but David's got them all over in the shack. That was a giant. That literally, I could not catch a fish the rest of the day. And to still catch fish like that when the sun is that high in the sky, unbelievable, dude. On a jig rod. Oh, my hands are so cold. You know, it's like negative 10 out today. You know, so many of these northern Wisconsin lakes, people don't even try in the middle of the day. And if they do, they're definitely not trying with the jig rod. 
So to do that is just so unbelievably rewarding. I cannot, uh, cannot describe to you guys how rewarding that is. Well, it is the prime time window and we got fish all around us and we are just not catching the fish for whatever reason, but uh, it kind of is what it is. We kind of found a bunch of fish here, middle of the day up shallow and they just weren't doing anything. And then we went out to some of that deeper stuff and uh, caught a few walleyes and a nice smallmouth, but overall that was kind of it. Sometimes it just doesn't pan out, especially when so much of these, so much of your day, you know, we could have caught on the right spot you could have caught nine fish you know just sitting in this whole jig and the fish were charged up and you were right on top of them where when so much of your day comes down to that last light bite and you sit in the spot or the fish aren't active there or whatever um you know that can account for a lot of your success that day and today we just had bad timing this is kind of my first day on this lake running around and ice fishing this year and i like what i see the fish are set up right there's fish on the right spots and uh what is this going on here we got a perch or a walleye Whatever it is, it's small, not big. Oh, it might be coming in. What do you think that is? It's pretty small mark, yeah, isn't it? It's pretty small. Really small mark, but I like what I see out here and it looks good. And uh, that, that giant fish obviously made up for, I could have sat out here all day long, just caught that one fish and would have been happy with it. Um, so I think we're gonna make it into just a video regardless. And yes, sometimes we do struggle. Don't let the YouTube fool you where it looks like we're just out here pounding fish every single day there's plenty of days especially ice fishing where we do have plenty of struggles so hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed watching this video just a quick little thrown together whatever kind of thing even david got to catch a couple of fish today isn't that just a special day i did i did first time on the ice in two years and uh <laughs> Some got to put that fish, fishing license to work today but i appreciate you guys watching this video stay tuned for more content i'm gonna be up early because i like what i see out here and i'm excited to start the day again tomorrow and i love the challenge of hunting down some of these difficult northern northern uh clear style lakes like this so thanks for watching if you guys aren't subscribed please do that and i'll see you guys next time